So today we're going to do a really quick salad. Um, we're going to use the nectarines that we have. Well, the one nectarine. We're going to use half of it. So we've got nectarines. We're going to use some feta cheese, um, some of the sugar snap peas, a bit of lettuce, and with the chicken. Um, this time round, I marinated it in the pesto that we made yesterday. So the recipe for the coriander and mint pesto. What I did was marinate it overnight in this soup and parted lots of flavour into it. And again, I flattened it out so when we cook it, it's really quick. Um, not as time consuming for you and the chicken ends up being that little bit nicer. So I've cooked my chicken already, so that's it there. You can see all the nice bits of green on it. Um, so that's ready to go. You can serve this as a warm salad or a cold salad, completely up to you. Um, so with the nectarines, nectarines and feta are actually a really nice combination. If you think about cheese and fruit, think about your um, cheese board at the end of a meal, you'd often see grapes there and you'd often see things like goat's cheese and pear teamed up together. So they're actually a really nice saltiness here with the feta it goes just so lovely with the sweetness of the nectarines and then by char grilling them you're kind of caramelizing the sugars so it just gives a really really nice flavor um, and this is really simple so your chicken while well, when you're doing your chicken you can char grill the nectarines at the same time if you like but I've done mine already so just gonna get the nectarines and pop them into a little bowl just like that just tiny bit of olive oil over them dress them so you've just got them all nicely dressed okay and so you've got your char grill going again this can be done in a, pan, a frying pan or if you don't have a char grill but if you do use it or your barbecue really nice gorgeous so let's get these going so pop them on and it seems like a weird thing first time I did this I kind of felt strange cooking fruit almost doesn't feel quite right or something but Trust me, it's really good. Um, the dressing for this. So let's get this thing again. So we're going to put some lemon through the dressing to give it a bit of acidity. So you just got kind of the edge of a lemon. So this will kind of equate to about one teaspoon. So just squeeze that into a bowl. If you're making the salad for more than one person, just double or triple or quadruple the amount, whatever way, whatever you need to do. Okay, so that's your lemon. I remember three parts oil to one part vinegar, so you're looking for about three teaspoons of olive oil. And then we're going to get some honey, just a tiny little kind of half teaspoon of honey in there, okay? And you want a little bit of salt and some pepper. And that's your dressing, it's that simple. And the thing is, if you do make a big amount of this, just pop it into a jar. Um, any kind of airtight container will do and pop it in the fridge and it will keep really well and the nice thing it's a really balanced dressing because you've got the kind of you've got the bit of acidity and sweetness you've got the smoothness of the olive oil and it's seasoned really nicely so it will go with lots of lots and lots of different things in fact you could even use it as a marinade for your chicken get some sweetness in there with the honey um, okay so they're cooking away nicely so turn them over. So you'll see this is what you're looking for. So you're kind of getting this lovely caramelized char grilled effect. And get them, if you can, get them kind of almost semi-ripe. So they've got a little bit of softness, softness to them, but not too much. So that they, they'll hold their shape, but they won't fall apart and they're not too hard. And if you can't find nectarines, um, peaches will work equally as well. Okay? So that's peaches ready, or nectarines ready, more. And then with your, what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to put it all together. So I'm going to slice up the chicken just into little strips. Okay? I'm going to put that in a bowl. can turn that off, that's your next train is done. I'm going to put my salad in a bowl, so we've got your salad in there. I'm going to get sugar snap peas. I've just left them whole. I quite like them like that. Okay. Feta cheese. I've used about 50 grams. So, see there, and that's, if you don't have a weighing scale, basically, you'll often see your feta cheese comes in a pack like this, okay? 
and this is 200 grams so it's literally just a quarter of that pack but then again it's up to you if you want to use more use more use less if you want to it's completely and utterly up to you okay so in goes the feta cheese In go the next green. So that's everything all in there. And then about a tablespoon of your dressing goes in there. It amounts to about a tablespoon anyway. It's quite a small amount. So that's what you're looking at. Okay, so that's all together in your bowl. Dress it really, really nicely. And as always with salad, just a little touch of salt to bring it all together. Some pepper, not too much pepper. You just want the salt there to marry all the flavors together as best as possible. Okay, so that's your salad pretty much ready to go. And you'll see it's quite substantial. There's lots of really gorgeous flavors going on in there. And just pop it onto your plate. And that's your salad of chargo chicken, nectarines, feta cheese and sugar snap peas. Really good, really easy and great for a barbecue, picnic, lunch, dinner, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's it. Enjoy.